Prime Minister regimes office after recovering from COVID-19. North North Host Community as Southern Governors reject 30% revenue share. And talking sports, Naomi Osaka is set to participate in news conferences. Details coming up shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first pan African news network. I am Mesoful Ajinomo, and you're watching TOS News 360. The Senate President of Nigeria, Ahmed Lawan, has clarified that members of both chambers of the National Assembly do not have the power to alter the outcome of amendments to the Electoral Act Amendment Bill under consideration. Lawan made this known on Monday after Nigerians insinuated that the National Assembly wanted to accommodate contentious clauses in the Electoral Act Amendment Bill presently before it in order to prevent electronic transmission of election results. And Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn has condemned and described the attack on Street Catherine Primary School Makudi by courtists as barbaric. He expressed this while speaking at an inspection tour of some facilities and projects in Makudi on Monday. The governor expressed worry that the school had become a haven for courtists, saying, I am told that a vandalism on this school was done by courtists. Federal High Court in Abuja has on Tuesday denied former registrar, joint admissions and matriculation board, Professor Dibu Ojerinde Bill on alleged misappropriation of about 900 million naira preferred against him by the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission. Justice Ob Obiora Eguatu rejected a verbal application for bill by counsel to the defendant, Peter Olurin Shola, SAN, after the ICPC lawyer Ebenezer Shogunle opposed the submission. The Kaduna State Government has ordered the closure of 13 schools vulnerable to bandit attacks. The directive was given to proprietors of private schools by the Director General Quality Assurance Authority in the State's Ministry of Education, Uma Ahmed, on Monday. You are hereby advised to adhere to the contents of this letter as appropriate sanctions shall be meted out to schools that are found wanting for non-compliance, please, he said. And now to development as Good Africa, Prime Minister of Tunisia Hichem Mechichi on Monday afternoon resumes duty at the Casbah after quarantining for 10 days in the wake of his coronavirus infection on the 25th of June. According to the Tunisian Prime Ministry, Mechichi has tested negative for COVID-19, which allows him to resume his official duties at the office. This is your digital first Pan-African news network, TOS Television, and you're watching News 360. More stories after the break, do stay. Many thanks for staying. The Court of the Economic Community of West African State has fixed the 9th of July 2021 to decide on the consolidation of all applications concerning the Twitter ban by the Nigerian government. The court disclosed the date in a virtual court sitting held via Zoom on Tuesday. And now to news on the global scene, debris from a passenger plane carrying 28 people which went missing in the Russian Far East on Tuesday has been found. The AN-26 aircraft lost contact with air traffic control shortly before it was due to land in the settlement of Palana in the north of the remote Kamkatcha Peninsula. And now to business, Godwin Emefrele, governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, has pledged to increase better and timely development finance interventions to further support startups and small and medium enterprises to grow the country's economy. Emefrele made the pledge while delivering the 51st Convocation Lecture of the University of Lagos on Monday highlighting the critical role of vibrant and growing SMEs to the growth of the economy and the creation of jobs for Nigerian youth. He urged that special consideration needed to be given to the strengthening of physical and ICT infrastructure to enable SMEs to perform more efficiently and become globally competitive. Governors of the southern states of Nigeria have rejected a 30% oil revenue profit share proposed by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company and other major sections of the petroleum industry bill. The National Assembly last week allowed for the passage of the Petroleum Industry Bill decades after it was first presented to the Parliament for consideration. 
In a communique, the forum says it disagrees that the company be vested in the Federal Ministry of Finance since all tiers of government have stakes in that vehicle. It also rejects the ownership structure of the proposed Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. And talking sports, after pulling out of several tournaments, citing her battle with depression and anxiety, tennis star Naomi Osaka has confirmed that she wants to compete at the Tokyo Olympics and to participate in press conferences. World number two said she was getting ready to play on to home turf at the pandemic postponed Tokyo Games after having withdrawn from Wimbledon and the French Open. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first Pan African network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like TOS Television Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Merciful Ajinabo. Many thanks for watching.